today i'm going to show you how i edited the most crazy intro Hey guys, my name is Ankit Bhatia and welcome back to the channel. I hope you're doing well. Now I am recording a tutorial after a very very long time so I wanted it to be very special and today I'm going to do the breakdown of the best intro I have ever created for any of my travel video. It's from Dubai so I'm going to show you the before and after. I'll show you the raw clips and then we'll start breaking down everything one by one like transitions in effects, color grading, sound effects, music, basically what i've used in the timeline so it's going to be a great learning video and now let's see the raw clips Thank <laughs> you. 
now let me show you the timeline and so this is the entire timeline and i have edited this intro in the premiere pro so these are all the video clips as you can see v1 v2 v3 and this is the music and these are all the sound effects and this is the adjustment layer so like you can see before and after and now we're going to do the breakdown of the clips but before that let me show you the music which i have used let's go here so i've used only this part from the song so if you listen to this one so you'll feel like you know something is going really fast pace so that's why i've used only this portion because i really liked it now talking about the music i have used the music from music bear and you know what music is the biggest factor in setting the tone for the videos that i create and sometimes i visualize my videos by just listening to a different genre of music and music bear has more than 40000 songs across all the genres like some of my favorites are cinematic electronics pop and ambient. Finding the perfect song has never been easier with Music Bell. Like every single song in their platform comes from the talented artists and musicians who are really passionate about their work. And the interface is so user friendly. Like my favorite filters are has built and cinematic. And then I go through the list. And if you're not be really specific, if you have knowledge of the music, you can go to the advanced filter and you can select the different keys and you will find the songs according to that. So just go to the link in the description to sign up today on music pair and get one month free on annual personal subscription by using my code Anket 22 so let's now break down all the clips one by one i'll show you the transition in effects whatever i have used so this is the first clip and uh, i created this clip in after effects like writing just dubai title and now let's go to after effects and let me show you the title see this so i've just used here 3d tracker to track it and then put the title on this one so if i just remove this and you can see i've just done the 3d title and using this i have used the mask here see i've just masked the dubai here if you want to see how i have done the 3d tracking in after effects it's pretty easy i'm not going to explain it here so i've just mentioned the link in the description you can go and i'll explain it there how to do this exactly now let's go back to premiere pro and the second clip is just me skydiving and then this is the third clip and here i have used the masking you can see that i'm just masking and revealing a new video if i go to the effects control and if we go to the opacity in the mask you can see that i have just masked this clip so let's go to the original clip here see i have just done the speed ramping also in the end to increase the speed so let's go to the original clip this was the original clip so in this clip we were actually in the lift going to the top of burj khalifa and we were seeing a lot of different backgrounds so that's why i used this clip it's looking really amazing let me tell you i pretty much used masking speed ramp dolly zoom and for hyperlapse and for time lapse i've used frame blending so th these are all the different effects that i've used and i almost use it all the time and i'm going to explain it one by one where i have used it for here for this clip i've just speed it up to almost 3000 see this was the original clip now let's go to the next clip this is simple one again a simple did nothing here simple clip here for this one, just let me show you in the effects control, I've used the position to move it from down to top. If I can just remove the adjustment layer, you will see that. See? I've just adjusted using the position. You will see me a lot using position and scaling from the effects control tab. Here I have used dolly zoom. If you go to the scale, how to do that? So you just need to scale it and then just drop it down to 100. So if you have any clip, let's say you have a straight drone shot, then if you scale it first to 150, something around 150, scale to 150, and then go down from 150 to 100, so it will give you a dolly zoom kind of effect. See the original clip? So we're going in the straight direction, right? Like it's pretty easy to visualize it, how it can happen. So you can apply it in any clip, just scale it from 150 to 100. And yeah, here are the crazy hyperlapse with 
lot of frame blending. Frame blending means like you are creating a motion blur on the clips. Let me show you, okay? So these are the two clips. So if we go here, let me show you the original one. See, so this was the clip. I recorded with 70 to 200 mm lens and I just masked this clip in the end. So if we go here, show the masking, see, frame by frame, I am just revealing a new clip and this is the hyperlapse. So let me show you the hyperlapse also. Let's go to the nested sequence. See this crazy hyperlapse. So how I generally shoot the hyperlapses, I put the camera on gimbal and I was in Metro in this scene and just put it like that and later on speed it up in the editing. So you can see that I've speeded up to thousand percent. If you go to the original clip, you see. So for this clip, I have used actually SNQ mode. So it's going very fast. And again, I've speeded up to thousand percent. And here I have applied the frame blending. If you go here in the speed, and if you apply the frame blending, if you apply the frame sample by default, it's gonna look like this. And if you wanna give the motion blur, then you go to the speed and set it to frame blend and you will see a nice motion blur. And again, also here I have used masking. So if you go to the effects control and click the mask, you see the mask here. This is the mask. I'm revealing a new hyperlapse. And again, this hyperlapse in the city, how I've taken it, I was just usually walking on the gimbal with the camera, just recording a normal video and speed it up later in the editing. So let me show you the original one here. See, here I'm walking, just walking, walking, walking and speed it up to almost 2500% if you see that here. And then I have just combined multiple clips. Same for this as well. And also after speeding up, I've applied the frame blending. So uh, we go from here to masking to new location and then here. So that's the final clip. It's pretty easy. Just frame blending, use the hyperlapse feature and do the masking later in the editing. That's what I have done here. So we go by frame by frame. You see, I'm revealing a location and then a new location and then a new location. And again here with the same thing I've done here. Speed it up, speed it up and just mask it here. See, in the end I've masked. So if we go to the nested sequence, see. Let me show you the original clip. See, I was just pretty much just walking and like this I did. And again, in the end, you can apply the speed ramp. If you want to learn how to apply the speed ramp, how to do the masking, there is a different video link in the description. You can find it from there. And this is just a drone shot. Again, normal video. This is a time lapse. So if you see this, I have speed it up almost 2000% from night to day. This is simple time lapse. And this is again normal clip, normal clip. Oh yeah, this is really crazy. I wanna explain this effect also. So we go, we're going from night to day here. See, let's go in this clip. See, this is a different shot I've taken at night time. And then this is a different shot I've taken in the daytime. So I've combined it together. So it looks seamless like we're from going from night to day. So let me show you the original clip. See, this is the night and let me show you this clip as well. So this is the I this is the clip I took in the daytime, see? So from here we're going under bridge and then simply coming out from the bridge. And so I've combined it together using the masking, obviously. If I let me show you again. See? Simple mask. Here I've done the masking and revealed a new clip. So just matched it perfectly and see this. This is crazy. <laughs> I love it. Now here, this is a very simple clip. No need to explain. Simple clip. No transition, no effects. Simple clips. Just speed it up here. 
So if I zoom in, you will see that I've speeded up to almost 800%. If we go to the original clip, this was the original clip. Quickly go to your home, shower, wipe the car down. And I've speed it up. Oh, this was again we took in the lift. See the shot? It's really crazy shot. See how the background is changing. And again, this is a very simple clip. A simple time lapse. So for this time lapse, we actually went at 4 a.m. to this top of the building, and we were just standing here and just shooting a time lapse. It came out really amazing, and I've used this time lapse at another place also. So I've zoomed in almost thousand percent, and then took a very close up shot, and then using another as another time lapse. I'll show you later on. This again, simple clip, simple clip, simple, speed it up, simple clip, simple, nothing much. Oh yeah, again, let me explain this clip also. So, I've done this same way. So this is a simple clip, I've speed it up to almost 500% if we go check the original one you will see that I just put it on a gimbal and I'm recording it from the car and then I speed it up to almost 500% and then applied a frame blending so you can see that it's all blurry here and then again after again here I've done the masking so if you go to the control panel if you can see that I've applied the masking here see revealing a new video for this masking I have just used the feather from 200 see almost 0 to 200 so that I wanted to give a soft look here and then reveal this drone shot see so what I have done here in this clip is if you go here you will see that I'm just speeding up in the end. See? So if you go to the original. See, I'm just recording it with the gimbal and taking it down. And then speeding it up. So when you shoot videos with the gimbal, it becomes way easier to speed it up and it still looks smooth. So that's why I try to use gimbal most of the time when I'm vlogging and shooting professional videos. There's a simple shot again, simple shot. Here I've again used the dolly zoom. You see that? This is dolly zoom. So if you go to the effects control, I'll just scale it from 140 to back to 100. 140 back to 100. And this again, time lapse. Oh, this is really amazing shot. Yeah, this is simple. We combined two match cuts, so it looks exactly same here. And then again, same way, again, hyperlapse. And this is again, dolly zoom. So if you go here, you will see that, see, from 120 to 100. Dolly zoom again here. Oh, this is a really amazing shot. Yeah, this is the time-lapse shot. If we go to the revealing project, if we see the original time-lapse, this is the same time-lapse. And I'm just using this area. So if you go to the effects control, you will see that I've, I've just zoomed in. If I zoom out, you will see that this is the original time-lapse. So if you shoot time lapse with taking photos, you have the flexibility because you will sh your, photo your photos resolution will be really high. It will be in 6K at least, and then you can really zoom into the videos. So always shoot uh, time lapse with taking photos. Oh, this is just a random shot I combined. I'll show you this one. See this? This is the shot. I was just using here 70 to 200 mm lens and I was just taking shots like this. See, this is the shot. 
and then it looks really crazy here. Again, I'm um, scaling it here. This is simple time lapse. And end. That's it. So yeah, these are all the clips. What I used, I used speed wrap transition. I use frame blending for hyperlapse so that we get the motion blur. I use the dolly zoom effect and I used the masking for a few of the clips. And that's pretty much it, uh, covering up transitions and effects. Now let's move on to the next one, which is color grading. I'll show you a few clips, how I have color grade and how I usually color grade all of my videos this is the same method that I apply. So let me quickly show you. So for color grading, let's just choose this clip. So this is the one I took from Sony camera. So what I'll do is I'll use one Sony clip, one GoPro clip, one drone clip. That's how you will get to know. So this is the raw clip. I shot this video in S-Log2. So let's take this and let's just make a copy and just remove the color grading so you can see that here i have used my own preset ab outdoor 3 so this is the preset from s log 2 this is basically where you can apply on all the different kind of clips so the preset pack consists of the preset for gopro for phone uh, for drone but i'm today i'm going to show you if i don't use the preset i use just my luts to apply so that if you're using any software for like uh, the premiere pro the winch resolve final cut pro any software you can apply these less anywhere so let's do that you can see that the color grading one so what i'll do is i'll just go to the effects control and apply lumetri color here and then as i have shot this in the log format i'll just go to the creative tab and i'll apply the outdoor lut so this will basically convert into Rec 709 video, normal video. You can apply it anywhere. If you have shot this video from the drone GoPro, you can just simply apply this, let it will convert. And you can see this effect immediately. And then I'll apply the second LUT. So I've basically made three LUTs, outdoor, base LUT, and the final LUT. Base and the final LUT, I'll apply basically to change the colors. And the outdoor LUT, I'll apply for only converting from log to normal. If you have already shot in the normal format, Rec. 7 and then you don't need to apply this outdoor. You can you directly apply the base and the final. So here for this clip, I'm just going to apply only the base LUT. Here you can find out AB Master Base LUT. And I can just change the intensity. And here I'll just, what I'll do is I'll just increase the exposure. And I think I'm pretty much yeah done. So that's how I color grade. It's pretty easy, right? And I have saved this as preset so you can easily apply on the clips. This is the one I took on GoPro. This is the raw clip. So let's color grade this clip as well. Let's go to the Lumetri color. And I think this is, I shot in the log format. So I'm just going to apply the outdoor LUT. Oh, this is too much so I'll just maybe change to 20% okay that's it and then apply the base LUT maybe 80% and then apply the final LUT so this is too much let's just minimum do it and then I'll go to the first one go to the basic correction and then just maybe increase the exposure increase the shadows a bit and i think increase the temperature and yeah this this is it that's it so you can see this one see this is the original video which i have color graded and now this is what i have graded now so you can apply also vignette i think i've applied the vignette here so go to the vignette and just do that. So these are my settings for vignette. And now if you go and check, see, these are almost same. And I think in my color grading clip, but I see that here you can see the blues, right? So what I can do is I can just go to the curves and decrease the saturation. So yeah, decrease the saturation. This is it yeah decrease a little bit of saturation and in the shadows area just maybe yeah you do this now you see that this is 
almost same so that's how you can color grade gopro clip and just let me just delete this now let's edit one drone clip maybe let's color grade this one so this is the raw let's just take it from here oh this is too big let's just crop it okay and let me just disable this so this is our raw clip this is the final edited version okay now let's go to this raw clip what i'll do is simply again go to lumetri drag it and go to creative go to outdoor that's it convert it first and then go here apply the base slut that's it okay now what i'll do is i'll go to the lumetri again basic correction increase the temperature and boom increase a little bit of exposure contrast highlights just a bit and i think this is it so you can see that this is the video i have graded before back in 2020 and this is now i've just graded so you see that if we increase the tint we will see that reddish look so if we increase the red just a bit by tint and then you will see that it's almost matching what i can do is i can just go here and decrease the temperature if you want to make it more yellow then increase the temperature or maybe decrease the temperature whatever it's pretty easy so yeah that's how i've graded the drone footage so if you want to use these luts or presets these all the luts are included in the abs log 2 preset pack so you just go to the link in the description you can get all the presets along with the luts you can apply in any software now let's move on to the sound effects so i want to show you this video this intro only with the sound effects without any music and listen to this one how it sounds because it plays a big role in making the video like next level you know sound effects is like a bridge between video and the music so when you add the sound effects it looks like this song is just made for this video and you just like how should i explain just see this video and you will feel it Seriously, this sounds really amazing to me. So, how to apply sound effects? Well, it's pretty easy. These are all the different layers. Whatever you listen to, maybe apply a lot of whooshes to when you are just, you know, doing a speed ram, you can apply whooshes. If you are in the jungle, you can apply the jungle sound effect. If you're close to river, you can apply river sound effect. If you're using a drone shot, maybe use any wind whoosh. So, these are all the different whooshes you can use according to what you feel sounds good, you know. So if we go here, let's say, listen to only one. So you will see some. So you're just masking it from one clip to another. Zoom. So like that. So how do I apply the sound effects? I use the constant power. And if I delete this, so you can apply shift, command, and D. You will get the constant dissolve. So it will start uh, slowly from zero to 100. Or you can just create a point using command and click and just slide it down to zero. So minus 1000 dB back to zero. So that's how you can do that. See so here, I use the original sound. And one last thing is to make it even more cinematic, I use the adjustment layer. Here, I have created a new adjustment layer and I've applied the crop effect. So you, if you will see that, if you apply the crop here with the top and bottom as 12.5, you can use it even 13 value. So yeah, guys, that's the complete breakdown of entire Dubai intro video. And now I think you can apply these kind of techniques in your videos also. Take some time, 
just go through this video again from start to end i know that i explained it pretty fast but if you'll see that video again you will understand it better like how i've used it and then see my original video and then go frame by frame and then see this tutorial you will understand a lot and then that's how i have learned it watching other people videos from over the time i practiced a lot and that's like after a certain amount of time you get your own ideas that how you can you know create these effects and transition how you can come up with the different techniques that's it that's all i wanted to say in this video if you want to sign up on musicbed also go to the link in the description it's an amazing platform for uh, amazing songs i almost use it all the time from musicbed and uh, yeah that's all i wanted to cover in this video let me know if i missed anything in this one we can talk more in the comments and let me know any more topics you want me to cover if you have any specific video which you want me to break down i'll do that so with that said if you really enjoyed this video hit the like button please hit the like button it's really important for the algorithm and uh, subscribe to the channel for future videos hit the bell notification icon so that when i upload it you see the video and then the algorithm will push even more and yeah i'll see you in the next one till then take care bye bye thanewa